good evening friends in this video lecture uh, let us discuss a new uh, topic called uh, design lip coefficient and uh, first we will we'll see what is meant by design lip coefficient and uh, how it is uh, linked with the uh, uh, knocker numbering system uh, first uh, let us see uh, about uh, design lip coefficient and uh, moreover this is the continuation of the our previous lecture under the basics of aerodynamics so first uh, let's see about uh, design lip coefficient so design lip coefficient is nothing but uh, when we consider a aerofoil and uh, in that uh, we have a camber line so in the camber line so we have a camber line so in the camber line uh, if you are considering the aerofoil as the camber line camber line alone uh, in the camber line uh this is subjected to the flow direction lo local flow direction suppose if the flow is coming like this if the flow is uh, coming like this and uh, yeah this is the flow direction and uh, if this flow direction is uh, is uh, when it is uh, coming to the leading edge because uh, if this is a camber line uh this is a camber line uh this is a camber line in the camber line uh then uh, this is leading edge this is a leading edge and uh, this is a trailing edge uh let's see this is a leading edge okay so when the local flow direction is coming and uh, reaching the Uh, leading edge of the camber line then this will be tangent this will be tangent if it is when it is the local flow direction is reaching the camber line and uh, uh, at the leading edge then this will be tangent this line will be tangent to the camber line camber line of the particular uh, aerofoil so then uh, this is happening at a particular angle of attack this is a local flow direction is uh, becoming a tangent when it is reaching the leading edge uh, when it is reaching the camber line or the leading edge then uh, that is uh, okay uh, happening at a particular angle of attack so at particular angle of attack only this uh, local flow direction is tangent to the uh, camber line of the aerofoil so Well, that means uh, at uh, at this condition, what is the lift is achieved? What is the theoretical lift is achieved when the local flow direction is reaching the uh, camber line? Uh, that means uh, when the uh, when the local flow direction becomes the tangent tangent at the leading edge of the camber line. So that at uh, that condition, we will be uh, finding we will be getting one CL. So that CL we call it as design lift coefficient at this uh, at this point this cl only we call it as design lift coefficient so because at particular angle of attack at particular angle of attack only this flow that means uh, the local flow direction also is subjected so that means uh, the local flow is subjected to some angle of attack so at particular angle of attack this uh, local flow direction is reaching the camber line and it is becoming the tangent to the camber line the local flow direction is becoming tangent to the camber line uh, at a part, okay particular angle of attack so at that condition we are uh, just finding we are getting one uh, lip coefficient that is nothing but uh, design lip coefficient so this design lip coefficient uh, is very important because uh, uh, it should not be confused it should not be confused with the maximum lift coefficient because the local flow direction is becoming tangent at particular angle of attack so at that condition what we are having uh, having the cl that is what uh, design lift coefficient but the maximum cl is different cl max is different from the uh, design lift coefficient that means this is uh, cl max is not okay equal to the uh, is not equal to the uh, what to say cl design it means uh, design lift coefficient 
okay so this is uh, we need to know, know down and uh, moreover <coughs> this uh, design lip coefficient uh, linked with the knocker numbering system how that is uh, linked with the uh, knocker numbering system uh, let's uh, see uh, because knocker numbering system we all know uh, for example if you take a, a knocker numbering system that is a uh, uh, four digit air of file so we have a four digit air of files in the knocker numbering system in the knocker numbering family we have a four digit air of files four digit air of files and uh, five digit air of files and uh, so like this so five digit air of files and uh, so in the four digit air of files uh, we are not having the design lip coefficient but in the five digit air of file we have a design lip coefficient how it is so suppose uh, if we are having a knocker uh, knocker uh, two four zero uh, sorry two three zero one two so this is a uh, five digit air of file in this area file how we are having a uh, design lip coefficient because we here uh, for finding the design lip coefficient we have to multiply uh, this first digit we have to multiply uh, the first digit of the error file with a 3 by 2 so if you are multiplying the first digit with a 3 by 2 then whatever the results we are getting because here we have a 2 so that means uh, if you are multiplying 2 into 3 by 2 then this will give you give us 3 so 3 uh, 3 is the 3 in tenths so whatever the results we are getting in tenths so that means uh, 3 by 10 so whatever we are having so 0 0.3 0 0.3 is the uh, design lip coefficient in this uh, NACA 23012 and then this second uh, and the third digit together uh, if you are uh, multiplying by by 1 by 2 that means uh, if uh, we have to consider together these two digits 3 into 0 if you are multiplying by 1 by 2 then whatever we are getting that is 15 percentage 15 15 is the uh, 15 percentage is the uh, is the location of maximum uh, camber so here the maximum camber is located at 15 percentage of the cord 15 percentage of the cord length so that nothing but we can say 0.15 c 0.15 c or 15 percentage of the cord so at that point uh, the maximum uh, camber is located then last two digits are nothing but uh, as we know well uh, it is the thickness to cord ratio that means 12 is nothing but it is the uh, thickness to cord ratio or maximum thickness located at uh, maximum thickness in terms of the uh, cord length so that is what we can say so that means uh, t max is nothing but uh, 12 percentage of the cord so that is nothing but uh, 0 0.12 c or 12 percentage of the 12 percentage of the cord cord length of cord <laughs> so this is what we need to understand so in the NACA 5 digit error file we have a design lip coefficient especially uh, the first digit gives the design lip co uh, coefficient so that means uh, this is nothing but uh, this value is nothing but CL this value is just uh, CL this is this CL of the design lift so this is a design lift coefficient in this one and uh, similarly we have a design lift coefficient in the uh, 6 series error file uh, NACA 6 series error file we have a design lift coefficient that is nothing but uh, we can say the uh, NACA 6 series error file uh, NACA 64 Two one two. So uh, this is a NACA six series zero five. Uh, actually, this is also five digit zero five. But uh, first uh, digit indicates uh, series designation. So six is nothing but uh, 
serious uh, designation and uh, second one uh, locate indicates the four four indicates the uh, location of minimum pressure this is nothing but uh, location of uh, minimum pressure point minimum pressure point Point uh, behind the leading edge, minimum pressure point. So in tenth, so that means uh, if you say four, four by ten in four by ten, so uh, that four by ten is nothing but it is the location of zero point four, zero point four, zero point four percentage of cord. So uh, we can say this is the uh, location of minimum pressure point so that means uh, behind the leading edge for at 40 at per point 40 percentage of the core length so this uh, minimum pressure point is located so this is one thing we have to note down and then uh, <coughs> third digit is nothing but uh, we can say as the that means uh, design the coefficient the third digit uh, we can just call it as third digit is nothing but uh, we can say uh, 2 2 is the 2 in tenths 2 in uh, tenths so here also we said 4 in tenths no oh, that means uh, in uh, tenths of that means uh, of the uh, core length so here 2 by tenths nothing but uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 is the uh, design lift coefficient so this is uh, 2 in tenths uh, tenth for uh, tenths then we are getting the design lift coefficient. So this is nothing but uh, our design lift coefficient. So generally, six series aerofoil is uh, used for uh, uh, that means used as the laminar flow aerofoils. Six series aerofoil generally we call it as uh, laminar flow aerofoils. So we all know that uh, okay. So, what is the purpose of laminar flow aerofoil? So, 6 series aerofoil also called uh, laminar flow aerofoils. Laminar flow aerofoils. So, this laminar flow aerofoils uh, generally used for uh, reducing the skin friction drag. So, whenever we use the knocker uh, 6 series aerofoil, so this aerofoil generally used for the for reducing the skin friction drag. So, that is a um, uh, that is one thing we have to know down. So, and also this knocker 6 series aerofoil also gives the design lift coefficient. So, and also knocker 5 series aerofoil also gives the design lift coefficient. So, and uh, similarly, here in the last two digits as usual. We are having uh, last two digit as usual uh, thickness to chord ratio. So nothing but uh, thick that uh, 12 percentage is nothing but 12 is nothing but uh, T by C. That means uh, 12 percentage of the percentage of C. That means thickness is nothing but uh, thickness is nothing but 12 percentage of C. That is what we have to understand uh, from this uh, this one. So always uh, the last two digits uh, in, in, uh, represents thickness to chord ratio or maximum thickness uh, thickness in terms of chord length. So in any knocker numbering uh, systems, either it is a four digit aerofoil or five digit aerofoil, so or a six series aerofoil. So whatever it may be, the last two digit indicates uh, uh, thickness to chord ratio or maximum thickness uh, in terms of chord and. Uh, and also we know one more uh, this uh, general uh, four digit aerofoil four digit aerofoil it is very simple so we all uh, have understood uh, that means we all know well uh, how it is the knocker four digit aerofoil behaves knocker four digit aerofoil suppose for example 2412 so the first uh, two is represents uh, percentage of camber so this is nothing but percentage of camber uh, percentage of 
percentage of uh, camber camber in terms of chord length percentage of camber in in terms of chord length in terms of of chord length uh, then so here it is nothing but uh, two uh, zero point the two is okay if we are converting into percentage two by hundred so nothing but uh, zero point zero two c this is the uh, uh, that means uh, camber so percentage of camber uh, so zero point zero two is the uh, amount of camber and uh, one more thing uh, we have to note down uh, the second digit indicates the location of maximum camber so uh, the camber this is four is in in tenths so four by ten so more location of maximum camber that is four by ten so nothing but zero point four zero point four percentage of zero point four c so this is the location of maximum camber that is uh, in four digit zero point so that means uh, at forty percentage of the chord length at the forty percentage of the chord length the maximum camber is located so that is what we need to understand then last two digits indicates as usual uh, thickness to chord ratio 12 is nothing but uh, thickness to chord ratio or maximum thickness in terms of chord length so that is what uh, we have to understand <coughs> one more thing uh, we can see uh, as i just told you uh, that uh, in the just now just before that naka uh, 2301205 in this the first digit only gives the uh, design look coefficient nothing but uh, when you are multiplying this with a uh, 3 by 2 we are getting uh, that uh, uh, 0.3c so that is nothing 0.3 so this is what the design look coefficient in this case so then uh, as we are okay so this uh, indicates and the uh, here okay so uh, the design look coefficient indicates it is the uh, index of the amount of camber so index of the this is nothing but index of the uh, index of the amount of camber so so that means uh, if the first, first digit is is higher then uh, uh, we will be having uh, uh, that uh, design lift coefficient also higher that means higher the camber so that is what we have to understand higher the camber higher will be the higher the camber higher will be the design lift coefficient so higher will be the higher will be the design lift coefficient design will be the uh, 